head in the clouds. Someone who is absent-minded or impractical is often said to have his or her head in the clouds. You must have had your head in the clouds as you were getting dressed this morning, your friend might say, laughing at your choice of clothes. Perhaps your little sister is not studying. How will you do well on your exam next week if you always have your head in the clouds? Get your head out of the clouds. We're making something, a parent might say to a child that is not paying attention. As you can tell, if you have your head in the clouds, you are being absent-minded or are not paying attention to what you are supposed to be doing. Additionally, you could be described as always having your head in the clouds if you are the sort of person who always dreams, daydreams, imagines, or fantasizes. He always has his head in the clouds, daydreaming about this or that, a parent might say about their child. My head has been in the clouds recently, imagining life after I get out of this small town, you might tell a friend. The origin of the idiom, head in the clouds, is unclear, though the imagery of puffy, unreachable clouds up in the sky makes it easy to understand. Beautiful, Far away white clouds floating in a blue sky have certainly always symbolized heaven, utopia, or dreamland. So, it is no wonder that if your head is in the clouds, you wouldn't be paying attention to the boring and mundane happenings here on the ground. Speaking of the ground, to be grounded or down to earth means exactly the opposite of having your head in the clouds in some cases. My youngest child always has her head in the clouds, while my oldest child is very grounded, a mother might say about her two children. I come from a very down-to-earth family, but ever since moving to the big city, I've had my head in the clouds, you might be telling a new friend. Maybe the wrong person answered your phone call. Oops, sorry dad, I was trying to call my friend. I must have had my head in the clouds just now. Your partner cracks an egg into the garbage and puts the shell into the frying pan. Hey, get your head out of the clouds. I'm hungry. So, whether you want to describe someone who is always daydreaming and out of touch with reality, or a particular instance when someone was absent-minded or not paying attention, don't forget to use the idiom, head in the clouds.